Good evening, everybody. Jim O'Neill is my name, and it's my great pleasure, privilege, and honor to uh, be introducing this night to you tonight. I'm lucky enough to know what's ahead for you because I've been down in Clifton with this incredible week, um, which you're going to hear the culmination of. The music is going to do the talking tonight. Five, four. Well, we're creating a little bit of leprechaun magic here in the west coast of Ireland. And what we're basically doing in this lovely old castle here in this little town out here is writing a whole bunch of songs together, Irish and Americans. It's been fantastic. To me, religion or, or whatever it might be, it just music is a universal language, and I found that out this week. Getting together with, with different writers from different countries uh, is, is something I think very, very, a good thing. I'm actually having a wonderful time here, man. This has been, it's actually been one of the most memorable events of my life, to be honest. I have never been so moved uh, and inspired. I had to write it. I, I started getting the ideas the minute I got off the plane. It's a ball this week because you get to exchange with all these uh, new people, new culture. It's just fantastic. I've never collaborated with anyone before this week. I would, I would certainly do it again, but songwriting, no matter what's happening, I, I, I always need to be writing songs or I'm not happy. The real thing about it is the magic that's been created. I mean, uh, the purity of the writing has remained, and now we've got our nuts and bolts machinery down, and it's just going smoothly, and more than anything else, it's just everyone is running around like a bunch of campers past week in Clifton, to explain it, there was like about 17 or 18 Irish songwriters, about 17 or 18 American ones. They got two, they invited everybody to Clifton in the west of Ireland. They put everybody in a hotel, got two hats, wrote to Ireland and America on the two hats. And then the first morning, they picked out one name from each of these hats and went on doing that. Put, the, put two people together and told them, well, asked them to write songs together. Good morning, everybody. You work with you. Karen Goss, Brenda Russell, boom, boom. Marriage, dating service, there you go. And then they just get together and they pick a place to work and they grab a keyboard or a guitar and they run up to one of their hotel rooms and they're writing a song. And when the song's finished, they run downstairs screaming and saying it's a hit in most cases because they've written a lot of great stuff. And then they look for a studio and that's when we get into the studio traffic jam because we only have three studios. And I'm working with a, a guy called Rob Burke right now. And, uh, He's a good writer, he's a young writer, uh, trying to make his mark uh, in the business, and uh, uh, I'm sure he will. Oh, but we're working on two songs, which is great. Um, we we started the first one the first day, actually. He, he insisted that we chat for maybe an hour and a half before we started writing, which is great. And um, and once we started, it just, you know, he's so quick, you know, with the, both the lyric and the music, is very quick. So, great experience for me, I must say. Creativity is the same everywhere. You know, music has a language of its own. A creativity is a language of its own. I just want to know what I'm about, and you know, I, I actually played him my two singles, which is a good start, because he wanted to know what type of you know material I did, you know. And it was ironic because actually he said to me, you know, I sounded very like Elton John, and he talks about these guys like Elton John as a on first name terms, which is <laughs> kind of freaky, you know, but it was good. When I was asked to come down here. I didn't know what to expect. I thought, you know, that's a funny idea, putting a whole load of diverse writers together. I didn't know what to expect, and uh, I had my doubts about it, to be honest. I thought I'd be sitting here doing nothing, and as it turns out, these guys have been so prolific, we just don't have the time to get it all down. We could do with, well, we could just come and live here forever, I think. And there are writers from all over the place, from Nashville, from, you know, other parts of America, from England, from, I mean, it's amazing. And you think to yourself, are you setting yourself up for total disaster because there's such an expectation, or is it going to work? And I think both things probably happen. Where I think we've, I've done, certainly I've written so far with uh, Gordon Kennedy, 
and Montel Jordan. And tonight now is the first threesome. Time. Verse 2, this is, right? Yeah. So do you, where do you want to take it from then? Oh, from the middle part, right. Is it okay, let's pretend like this. <laughs> so it's, what surprises me every time that we do it is that how well it works. Because the intention is, here we have people who are really obsessed with music. And I actually have no choice in the matter. We just have to make it, and we happen to be making it with other people in the room. And I've found it really inspiring so far. There are no rules, no walls, no lines, no guns, no gates, where real love shines on in the land where nothing dies, where I belong to. And I'll find 